The plan is being created against a backdrop of consistent economic growth with an average yearly growth rate of more than 5% between 2017 and 2019. However, the government's main challenge of bringing inclusive economic prosperity to Ugandans remains crucial. By outlining the government's programs and ensuring that there is a transition from subsistence agriculture to commercial agriculture and improvement for the manufacturing sector, the Vision 2040 aims to achieve middle income status. What's more, our Vision 2040 has set the aspirational goal of achieving middle income status by the year 2040. Vision 2040 articulates the government's ambition to raise productivity and achieve structural transformation, shifting the economy from subsistence agriculture to commercial agriculture, manufacturing, and high-value added services. Our third national development plan is no less ambitious than Vision 2040. It seeks to transform the Ugandan society from a peasant to a modern and prosperous country within 30 years. On the other hand, John Musinguzi, the Commissioner General for Uganda Revenue Authority, evaluated the sector's success. The banking industry, microfinance organizations, and development finance institutions are only a few of the participants in the financial sector. With the Bank of Uganda at 28%, mobile money platforms at 22%, commercial banks at 26%, insurance firms at 4%, and other institutions Accounting for 20%, these have made up the majority of the 549.11 billion, approximately 9.1% income. A quick look at the revenue contribution from this financial sector places the financial and insurance services sector at position number three. As you can see, uh, looking at the statistics, for the performance of the first quarter of the financial year, the financial and insurance activities contributed 549.11 billion, and that is about 9% of the total revenue collected in that period. Three strategies were created, including financial services for all to guarantee that no Ugandan misses out on an entrepreneurial opportunity, financial markets for all to ensure firm competitiveness, and financial services for growth. From this context flows the strategy's three strategic objectives. Financial services for all, financial services for markets, and financial services for growth. And in order to achieve these key objectives, the financial sector development strategy identifies increasing of access to and use for financial services, increasing access to long-term financing, strengthening innovation, markets and financial infrastructure, and also strengthening the financial sector stability. The Ugandan government depends on tax revenue to finance a number of areas, including education, welfare, and the repayment of foreign debts. It is necessary to put in place a tax structure that helps achieve the strategic goals. Naomi Mtumba, Smart24 TV, Business Today.